And don't forget who you are. Remember, you're nobody. You have nobody. You're not lovable. You're just a tool for our machine. Who do you think you are? You don't deserve anything. You're not that good. And don't forget that we don't need you anymore. Because you're just another battery in our machine. Another worker. And don't look up anymore. Keep your eyes on the ground. Keep looking down because you have no powers to look up. You're not worthy of looking up. You are just another proletariat feeding the machine. And don't forget your position. Don't forget your place in this world. And don't forget, war is peace, and peace is war. You're a nothing. You're just another tool in the machine. We don't need you, but you're a good worker, right? Let's keep looking down and do your job. You don't deserve anything. And now repeat after me. I am worthless. I am worthless. I am worthless. Oops! You have to have an extra sledgehammer? Don't miss this time. Thank you so much. So now! Get back to their work. Get back to your work. Because that's all you are, just a machine. It's me, your conscious mind, and I'm back. And guess what? All those programs that you got from the subconscious, forget those. Because now you are free. Get out of that misery. You are not a slave. You are a creator. You are so wonderful. Your vision, your joy, your love, your happiness. This is why we're here. I want to especially thank that wonderful cell that came up with a hammer and destroyed the nature of that subconscious programming. You are now free. Thank you. Thank you, my dear cells. You are so wonderful. You're so kind and so creative and so powerful. What a great time to work together as this community and manifest the life that we all desire and wish for. And thank every one of you, all of you, because now we can heal. We can heal and we can have the most wonderful experiences our imagination can create. What you've seen in this story, which is actually a homage to George Orwell's 1984, is that the cells in your body are citizens and they make a community. But there's a government that controls the fate of that community and that government is the mind. Well, there's actually two minds that we have to understand. There's the conscious mind, which is actually the one connected to our spirituality, which has wishes and desires and what we want in our life on this planet. And then there's the subconscious mind, which has been programmed from just before birth through age seven. And the programs didn't come from us, they came from our parents and our family and our community. And most of the programs psychologists recognize, up to 60% or more, are disempowering, self-sabotaging, and limiting beliefs. So consider your cells and your body as a government, and then the subconscious mind giving it all kinds of negative insights and negative impulses. You're not lovable, you're not worthy, you're not deserving. These are the programs that many people have gotten when they were under age seven. And I say, what would happen to that community? And I say, that is the source of disease. In fact, stress is up to 90% responsible for disease. Well, you know, there's a parallel here. And the parallel is this. Well, cells are like miniature people with the mind being the government. Well, we all live in countries as people and have a government. And the role of the government is essentially the same role that the mind should have except that our government has been trying to control us and take our power away and have us conform to their wishes and desires, which is not the actual wishes and desires of the average person on this planet. So are the citizens in the world experiencing their vision of what they would like, a heaven on earth kind of attitude, a planet where love and happiness abound? Or are we suffering and working and struggling, trying to keep up in a competition that the government keeps pushing on us? The point is this, if you want to have a healthy body, or if you want to have a healthy world, then in both cases, we have to look at the government and decide whether that government is supporting us or not supporting us. And if it's not supporting us, it's time to reprogram. Reprogram the mind and reprogram the government. And when we do this, 
and we can start to get support from a government that will actually encourage us to live a life with wishes and desires, the entire planet will change. And so we must go from now the disharmony of a world outside and because of disease is expressing a disharmony of the world inside, we have to recognize both these populations need a better expression of government to support them. And now the world is in a state of chaos. And the chaos is, yes, our governments are not supporting us. And now the people are beginning to realize we cannot thrive in this world with the rules and regulations that have been programmed into our lives. It's time for a change. And this is what the world is going through right now. And when it changes, heaven on earth is our destination.